Hi everyone, it's the Rubinator 13. I'm Ruby and we are back playing some Disney Dreamlight. I'm green. Um, <laughs> that's just because of one of the Dream Snap challenges it's for springtime and I thought it'd be fun to go as like a plant looking person. I don't know. And I just figured I'll just keep it. But we have someone we need to talk to because we are going to get Sweet Little Daisy in the valley. Where is Mickey? There he is. Let's go ahead and talk to him. He's who we need to talk to. Good to come Daisy. Boy, I'm glad to see you. Oh boy, Ruby, do I have news for you. I opened up my mailbox this morning and found a sparkly purple envelope addressed to both Minnie and me. Sparkly purple? Who does who was this letter from? Our pal Daisy Duck. <laughs> I know it. I knew it the second I saw the envelope. She left the village to investigate the forgetting. Daisy said getting to the bottom of it was more important than anything. And that she'd be back with the biggest news story the valley has ever seen. So what did the letter say? She sounds oh. so brave. She sure is. And the letter says she's found out something big about the forgetting. And she's ready to return to the valley. <laughs> She wrote ahead to ask if we could make her house in the great... <laughs> wait, make her house in... Wait, make sure her house is in great shape. Oh my gosh, my eyes were fumbling there. <laughs> gosh, I can't blame her. She's been been on one long camping trip. I'll set up Daisy's house <laughs> right away. Hot dog. Thanks, Ruby. Let me know if you need any help getting Daisy's house ready. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so Thanks, I'm pal. trying to think, oh, I think I'm going to put her in the meadow. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the microphone there. I think maybe I'll put her in the meadow with Daisy, Minnie, and, I mean Daisy, with <laughs> Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy. Um, and I think I might move Donald's boat over here into that little pond. Just so they can be together. I don't know, we'll see. Let's go ahead and place, I think I'll just place it here. Seems good to me. Furniture. Perfect. Turn around so I can see a little better. Probably get rid of this bush, but that's okay. Don't really need that bush. Perfect. How much is it? Good day to you. Look, looky here, how's as stylish as its owner? Be a grand addition. Okay, hey! well, oh, 20 grand. Okay. So just a warning for anyone who hasn't unlocked her yet. 20 grand's not that bad. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Daisy. Ah, the sun's shining almost in Daisy. Oh my gosh. She's adorable. She's so cute. Oh, she's fixing her little bow and her little pose. Oh my gosh. She's precious. I love that. I love that so much. She's adorable. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I am so happy to have Daisy. Oh, it's you! How fabulous. Dreamlight Valley. It's so good to be home. And Ruby, it's you. You've uh, come back too. Yeah. My, my, my. Have I missed you and this place. I just had to get to the root of the forgetting, find a solution to help our village. That's why I left. Goodness, I've been away for so long. How brave of you. Oh, thanks. We all have to lend a hand when we can. Now, after all my adventuring and investigating, I'm ready to settle back into the valley life and help make this place sparkle again. Aww. And in that spirit, let's go inside my house. I have something marvelous to show you. Bye bye Well, that's exciting. Okay, let's go ahead and track that. Let's go to her house. Oh my gosh, Daisy. And that was so simple. I'm gonna probably move this tree. I don't like how it's blocking her house, but oh. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. She's such a 
She's such a cutie. Oh my goodness. Her house. Can I live here? I love this. Pink and purple are my two favorite colors. Um, oh my gosh. So this is... This is so cute. I love it. Her house is perfect. Well, look who it is. Fabulous. You're here. Mm -hmm. There are a couple things I think I should remind you of. Before the beginning, you had a place where you shared your amazing creativity and personal style. Oh. Oh. It was called The Boutique, a shop filled with stylish custom creations for everyone. That sounds amazing. Hmm. It really was. I loved it, and I was determined, to, and I was determined to protect it. Mm -hmm. So when the forgetting started, I went to see Fairy Godmother for help. Oh my gosh! <laughs> she shrunk the boutique and made it pocket-sized, and I hid it here in my house. It's so small. <laughs> yeah! And today's the day I finally get to give the boutique back to you. Don't we need to make it big again? I can't just <laughs> eat a cookie. I can't just eat a cookie and make myself small. Uh, <laughs> of course you can't, silly. Oh my gosh. Aww. What a slam on Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> of course you can't, silly. Aww. But you can make the boutique bigger with a Wonderland amplification elixir. What are the ingredients? The recipe mentions dream shards, carrots, topaz, and white daisies. Once you've crafted the Wonderland Amplification Elixir, you can apply it to the Royal Watering Can. Then you just have to water the boutique. Um, it won't grow back inside your house? <laughs> nope. There's magic. <laughs> the magic is much smarter than that. The boutique will only grow back once you place it in the valley. Don't awesome. Be a stranger. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. So let's go ahead and craft that, since apparently I have everything I need, which is exactly why I tried to hoard and collect and <laughs> yada yada. But sometimes even with all the preparation, you still, still don't always have everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and craft that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have Daisy. She's such a little cutie pie. And maybe, maybe now Donald won't, what is happening? Okay, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what is this black screen for a million years? But anyway, as I was saying, maybe, maybe Donald won't uh, have as many freakouts now that Daisy's here. Who knows? All right. Take it. All right, let's go ahead and put this on my watering can. I have too much stuff in my pockets. This is... a lot okay let's go back in and water the mini boutique <laughs> okay let's pick it up put it in my pocket I don't know why it wouldn't just let us pick it up first and then water it once we place it but I don't know. I guess. Oh, I guess it, I don't know. That's just because of how we place lots and stuff in this game. Because like, couldn't we just place like the the outline of what it would be like big, and but it just looks small? That, okay, sorry, I'm blabbing and it's just, doesn't actually matter. <laughs> All right, let's get this placed. I'm assuming I have to go to furniture for that. Can't just do it from my pocket. Let's go ahead and put it here, I guess, for now. Kind of near the little clock tower and Scrooges. Sure. I guess. Let's get rid of my watering can. Let's go inside. Okay, let's see this little boutique. Let's see what it's all about. Oh, goodness. Okay, talk to Daisy. Oh, I just pass her shoes. Oh, it's you! Oh, it's even more gorgeous than I remembered. And soon, it will be even brighter with your creations. Yeah. 
Welcome to the boutique, Ruby. This is where you can display and share all the, <laughs> share the clothes and furniture you design with travelers from other valleys. This is a dream come true, finally. I'll just say that right now, actually, it's not that much of a dream come true for me. I don't have any custom designs, <laughs> so that's fun. But isn't it marvelous? And it's a great way to flex your creativity. Hmm. Let's say I wanted to display something I created. Where do I start? Oh, it's a, it's a snap. Just place one of your creations on a mannequin or furniture pedestal for everyone to see. Oh. After that, come back and talk to me. We'll discuss the next steps. Ever consider a career in design? You have marvelous taste. Okay, so let's... I'm going to make a design super fast since I don't have any. I don't have any furniture or clothes. Not a, not a neither. <laughs> So let's just make something super fast. Ooh, let's make a little, yes, let's do that. I'm trying to decide. Do I want, ooh, I know, I know what I'll make. I know what I make, I know, I know. But I don't know how to do this. People have already done a lot of these. They're probably like, ah, you're taking forever. You don't know what you're doing. This is annoying if you want just skip ahead like three or four minutes <laughs> but i figured let's go ahead and make no less glossy yeah a bean i think i'm gonna make a villainous bean bag chair <laughs> perfect okay and Great. Because, yeah, I saw these little. What do we have in here? Oh! Alright. Okay. So, wait, this one makes it bigger and smaller? Nice. Is that centered pretty well? I mean, it. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Great. Okay. Um, <laughs> we'll call that good. <laughs> we'll please that. I mean, it's not wonderful, but it's a uh, it's something. Show my own design. <laughs> All right, sweet. That was Just simple who enough. I wanted to see. This is amazing, Ruby. I absolutely adore it. Did you have fun designing it? Uh, yeah, sure. It really shows. Trust me, I have an eye for good taste, and my expert eye likes what it sees. Ah. You know, you might even have more fun with something else we used to do in the boutique. Oh. It's a mini challenge game we used to play. The idea is to create, hmm, let's call it... Ta Tablet? Tablis? Tablis? Let's call them tab tabulous. I don't know. Please explain. <laughs> well, picture yourself creating the interior of a room with a few pieces of furniture, plus the perfect outfit for your for the person who lives there. Right. Then show the result to everyone in the world. Like they admire your creativity and style. We used to pick a new theme every day. Oh. Why don't you take a look at the first theme I suggested and we can see what ideas and combine. Then decorate the challenge area in the boutique. I hope Donald isn't giving you too much trouble. Okay. What? I don't know if... I want to do this right now, or if I just want to, I think I'm going to just not for right now, do this boutique challenge. <laughs> Cause that seems like overwhelming and a lot. And I just, no, <laughs> not right now. Um, maybe in the next <laughs> playthrough video, but um, today is not that day. I just, 
I didn't realize that was going to be one of the things. That's a lot. I don't... I don't just spend my time decorating and making things. Like, I want to do other little quests and things. Oh, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a market. peek at maybe something we can do super quick. Go see Ursula to introduce her to Jack Skellington. Catch him. No, 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 no. Let's see. I might do that. Might help out Jack a little bit. Let's do that. Let's go help Jack. Let's go find Ursula. I'm so happy we have... We have Daisy now. That makes me so happy. Ursula, Ursula. She, For someone who doesn't like Merlin, she sure hangs out around his house a lot. Just who I was hoping to are. see. Oh. We have a few things we need to talk to her about. Let's do Pumpkin King Returns first. Yeah. Ugh, no, not him again. This is Jack Skellington. I guess you two already met. Unfortunately. And how did that go? Oh. Well, he barged into my home earlier today. Mm. At first, I thought he was looking to make a deal. Huh. He went straight to my potions and grabbed several and started mixing them together. I wish that surprised me. Oh, oh you know about his tendency for rudeness? Mm. That me that menace kept asking me where I kept my frog's breath. Then he makes Kraken's ink with steam vent salt. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad I had some essence of moon kelp. Oh, moonlit kelp. Handy to stop the whole house from going up in smoke. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. I want to make this right. What potions did he ruin? Ruby, angelfish, I thought... <laughs> though you have your strengths with your dreamlight magic. The kind of potions I make are far beyond you. Still, you can fetch me some of the ingredients, as long as that nuisance is properly reprimanded. Reprimanded? I suppose we can put this behind us. Oh, trust me. I'll talk to him about it. What do you need? Mm. Bring me some gooseberry, red nost what nast whatever the heck, those flowers, white passion lilies, and amethysts. I'm on it. Goodbye, dear. Oh, Jack. Oh, here, actually, let's talk to her about the other one. And I need to talk to Goofy, apparently. Oh no, I'm trapped! Oh, her stage! That's right. Oh. Ah! Jack's head's gone! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, it's back. <laughs> That's kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. Can I do that again? No, what was with that? Camera angle. Okay. Ruby, I knew I could count on you. Now there's just what now there's just a matter of putting everything together. And here it is. Okay. Place this in the glade of trust as soon as it, as soon as you're ready. My advice, wait for the sun to set. The mood will be perfect then. Life half the way from the mood to set. On a roll. <laughs> I don't maybe I don't want to wait for the moon the sun to set. Let's go ahead and just put it over here. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, sure. Sweet. Okay. Which way is the... Okay, so that's the... How's that? Is that good? Oh my gosh, she is so cute. <laughs> what a... What a mix. What a mix of characters here. 
Yeah. That's, uh... a. <laughs> That's something, all right. Quite the band. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Can use a hand oh, now I can talk to all of them. Are you going to help or not? Oh, jeez. La la. <laughs> Mother knows best. Finally, the thieving sea witch gave me my voice back. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know you assisted, dear. Which is only fair since you helped her steal and it, steal it in the first place. But everyone makes mistakes. I'll just never know. <laughs> I'll just know never to forget this one. Ta-ta, Ruby. Ta-ta. Oh, my goodness. Hola. La, la, la. Family Mardi Gras. It worked. Gracias, Ruby. My singing voice is back. Adios. Hi. Reindeer are better than people. La, la. <laughs> hey, my singing voice is uh -huh. back. Thanks for your help, Ruby. Wow. I've kind of been working on a song for Anna, so I'm glad you'll get to hear it. I really Come appreciate here, my it. Child. Huh? What a waste. It would have been brilliant. It would have been a brilliant performance. All I wanted was to show the village a glimpse of the shows performed in the sea. I'm sorry, Ursula. You can always organize a real one. I'm sorry, Ursula. Mm -hmm. You know, I think you are. You can always make space in the valley for putting on grand performances. Uh, Here, <laughs> why don't you keep the stage? Set it up wherever you like. And the microphone. Maybe someday you can put on a show worthy of the ones I used to stage when I lived in the palace. <laughs> wow. Well, we actually got that whole quest line complete. Um, maybe we'll actually, I know I was supposed to help Jack, but I think what I'll do is I'll just gather those little items. I think I have most of them in storage. And we'll just continue that quest next time. I don't want to make this too long of a video. I mostly wanted to focus on Daisy <laughs> and getting her in the valley because I'm just so happy she's here. I'm, I'm in love. I love Daisy. I love her. I love her pink and purple aesthetic. She's cute. Um, okay, so that's, that's it for today. If you are still here watching, thank you so very much. I cannot thank you enough. It means so very much to me. If you are subscribed, an even bigger thank you. If you're not, that's totally okay. I understand. I'm just happy you're here watching, to be totally honest. So just thank you for all, all your support. And yeah, I just hope you have a really good rest of your day, night, whatever it is for you. Thanks again. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.